I've never had one like that.
That's know. pretty exactly.
Thank you everybody for coming. I'm Tom Anderley. I have the pleasure of doing this. I've known uh, Will and Ty since they were in, uh, about the knee high to a grasshopper. So I'm very pleased to have this chance to do this wedding to this very lovely bride uh, for sure. We're gonna have a reading. Nancy, come on up, will you please? Move that mic over for will you, Ty? Bring it in just a little bit. Thank you. All right, Nancy. I was given permission to take my mask off, <laughs> which I'm very pleased with. <laughs> a wedding blessing for Will and Janelle. You are two people but now there is one life before you. May the love you feel on this, your wedding day, stay hidden in your heart. When storms blow through, and we know, and we know they will, may the memory of this day always lead you home, back to the safe harbor of each other's arms. For now, each of you will be shelter for the other, each of you will be warmth for the other. Two people, one life. May God bless you and keep you in his grace. May tender mercies follow you all the days of your life. Thank you very much, Nancy. That was wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Friends, we are gathered here at this hour to witness and celebrate the coming together of two separate lives. This man, Will McKnight, and this woman, Janelle Nuffs. 
Joined in marriage, the essence of this commitment is the taking of another person in his or her entirety. Love is one of the highest experiences that we human beings can have. When combined with real friendship, the depth of meaning of our lives is infinitely enhanced. Day-to-day -day companionship, the pleasure in doing things together, or in doing separate things, but in delighting to exchange experiences. This is a continuous and central part of what a man and a woman who love each other can share. Marriage symbolizes the intimate sharing of two lives, yet this sharing should enhance, not diminish, the individuality of each partner. A marriage at last is one which is continually developing while growing in understanding of the other. Deep knowledge of another is not something that can be achieved in a short time. And uh, real understanding of the other's feelings develops fully only with years of intimacy. This wonderful knowledge of another person grows out of really caring for the other so much that one wants to understand as completely as possible what the other is feeling. Thus, it is possible to share not only joys, but also the burden of sorrow and failure. To be known in this way is a priceless thing because such understanding and acceptance makes it easier to live with our problems and failings and worries. But again, while marriage is the intimate sharing of two lives, it can enhance the differences in individuality of each partner. We must give ourselves in love, but we must not give ourselves away. A good and balanced relationship is one in which neither person is overpowered or absorbed by the other. Thus, it is out of the tension between separateness and union that love, whose strength is equal only to its fragility, is born and reborn. We are here today then to celebrate the love that Will and Janelle have for each other and to give social recognition to their decision to accept each other totally and permanently. And to this state of marriage, these two persons come now to be united. Before we finish, Janelle and Will would like to make a few comments, and it just happens. <laughs> give that to you. Turn around and give that. Will, all these years spent together, I have come to know you as one of the most generous, selfless, and exuberant people I know. You constantly put others' needs ahead of your own, and usually you're doing it with a smile. I love this the most about you. I envy your social confidence that draws people toward you. I am no exception. I admit, when we first met, I dismissed your charisma maybe out of fear of opening my heart to someone. But as soon as I let you in, your infectious personality won me over, and I was hooked. Someone like me needs someone like you. I truly believe our differences are our biggest strengths. These differences allow us endless opportunities to learn from each other and grow. I cherish your companionship. 
and I love the life we have built and will continue to build together. Today is the day for the rest of my days. I promise to love you for the person you are, generous, selfless, and exuberant. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know how I'm gonna top that. A lot better at this than I am. I did this in a little di different in a way, so we're going to do it this way. So, Janelle, why I love you. Janelle, what I love about you is that I can be myself around you without any restrictions. I've had a hard time for that for quite a while, and I've never met a person like you that I can actually enjoy myself and be myself around. I also love how uh, you keep me grounded in life, because sometimes I'm kind of a handful. Actually, I take that back, I'm all the time a handful. I know I have a lot of energy in life, and I know that you bring me down, so that's why I love the fact that you can keep me grounded on for the rest of our lives. Um, another thing that I love about you, too, is to find that um, I finally found someone who loves me when um, I am scattered, slash always scattered, into a thousand pieces, and it's like trying to find a, um, a piece, to complete a puzzle when you don't even know if you have all the right pieces. But you showed me that even every piece doesn't have to be in place to create something special. That our love will be beautiful if you're, if, if you're in one piece or in thousands. A little history behind us, too. I love this part. I've actually met Janelle through our best friend, Mandy, who is our maid of honor. And she's been in my life for 16 years. And I couldn't ask for a better inner circle to meet my, wife, my future wife. Honestly, I couldn't ask for a better moment. Uh, what I promised to you, today I take you uh, today, sorry, today I take on the responsibility of a caring for my partner, comforting my lover, and laughing with my best friend. I promise to always protect you with my life. I promise not to go down old roads with you, but make new paths to always follow. I promise to love you more each new day than the day before. You will always be my best part of my day. And we have shared a lot of joy to be here, but the, yes, but the best is yet to come. Today I give you my hand to hold, my life to share, and my heart to keep. For this day on, you will not walk alone. My heart will be your shelter, and my arms will be your home. I love you, Janelle. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Join hands, please. Will, will you take Janelle for your lawful wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and health and in richness or poverty? for better or worse, until death do you part. I do. Janelle, will you take will for your lawful husband? Will you love, comfort, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, in richness or poverty, for better or worse, until death do you part? I do. Let me have the rings. These rings are but a symbol of your marriage, symbolic of the fact that you have this day pledged yourselves in marriage, one to the other, and of the fact that as the encircling ring is unending, it is the wish and hope of all that your marriage will be unending. Will? Repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. And I promise thee, I promise thee, my faithfulness. My faithfulness. Place the ring on her finger, please. All right. Repeat after me. With this ring, with 
this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. And I promise thee. And I promise thee. My faithfulness. My faithfulness. Put it on his finger. Continue holding hands, please. May these two people keep this covenant which they have made. May God bless their marriage and their efforts to sustain a mutually rewarding relationship. May they be a blessing and a comfort to each other, sharers of each other's joys, consolers in each other's sorrows, helpers to each other in all the vicissitudes of life. May they encourage each other in whatever they set out to achieve. May they, trusting each other, trust life and not be afraid. May they not only accept and give affection between themselves, but also together have affection and consideration for others. And now, inasmuch as Will and Janelle have consented together in wedlock <laughs> and have witnessed the same before witnesses and thereto have given and pledged their faithfulness each to the other by virtue of the power vested in me, I do pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and my privilege to be the very first to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Will McKnight. <laughs> Thank you.